If you're like me, you don't have a whole lot of time to dedicate to reading. Between trying to sleep eight hours a night, working a full-time job, parenting, and the million other things that need to be done, it leaves little time to read. So when you do find those quiet moments where you can sit down with a book, you want to make the most of it by reading something that is going to be valuable to you. Hey everyone, I'm Jeffrey and welcome back to the channel. So I've been using short form for the last couple months to help find the books and even the parts of books that are gonna be the most useful to spend my time reading when I do find those precious moments here and there. And I've actually partnered up with short form so that the next 75 people to sign up through my special link, the link down in the description below, will receive five days of unlimited access as well as a 20% discount off the annual subscription. Now the discount is only available if you use my link, so by doing so, you get access to a great service as well as help support my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how I've incorporated short form into my information consumption workflow. If you want an overview of the entire system, I'll include a link to the video on screen now. So let's dive in and take a look. So the first thing is getting a book summary from short form into Rome Research so that it can start being processed through my information consumption system. So when I hear about a book, one's recommended to me, or perhaps I can just browse through the different categories that they have available, maybe on motivation, productivity, or psychology. Or perhaps I know a book that I've already read that I want to go back and review using this summary. So let's take an example of say, uh, Drive by Daniel Pink. You can also just click on the image here to get a short little uh, summary of what the book is about. Find this really useful when you're just kind of browsing to get some ideas for books that you might want to read. But let's say I want to read this book summary. I can just click the read book. And not only do you get a one page summary, which you can read in about 10 minutes, you get a much more in detail, full summary of all the key topics and ideas that are covered in the book, as well as exercises to help you solidify that knowledge. But once I have a book identified that I want to read a little bit more about, I'll just come up to the web address and I will copy it so that when I go back to Rome, I can create a page for this uh, book summary. And then to populate this entire page for my information consumption system, I have a smart block set up. So all I have to do is call the smart block for my short form summary, and it will fill in everything from the author to the uh, web address so that when I want to come in and read it, I have easy access to the link for that specific book. And it also adds a link to the notes that I took on the full book. So you can see here, this was one that I read back when I was doing progressive summarization. You can see all my highlights, but let's go back to the uh, summary page. So the next thing that I'll cover is how I have this smart block set. So here is the smart block that I have set up to add those short form summaries to my Rome research graph. You can see how it's built here. I've also added it to the smart block store so that you can easily install it into your own graph. By going to the smart block store, you just hit control P, search for the store, and then you can see my smart block here that will be available for you to install it into your own uh, graph quite easily. So now I have the page created in Rome so that when I want to go ahead and read the summary, I'll open it up on one half of my screen with Rome on the other so that as I'm reading through, I can start taking literature notes as I go. Now I'm not going to cover how I take literature notes in this video. I recently did one where I covered my full guidelines, which I'll put a link to on the screen. But specifically how I use short form is the summary is a really quick and easy way to figure out if this is a book that you want to dive deeper into. And if it is, then what I'll do is I'll go to their full summary and start identifying the specific topics that are of interest to me to dive deeper into. And then I'll start taking notes on those. And the key here is that 
as I'm going through, I'm constantly thinking about whether or not this is a book that I want to explore more. I have a section in my Rome research page for exploring the book, and this is where I can make notes about whether or not I want to read the book. If I do, what are the questions, the thoughts, the, the follow-ups that I want to keep in mind while I'm doing that read, or what specific sections and chapters it is that I want to dig deeper on, because I might not want to read the entire book. So as I'm going through this summary, that's the things that I will be thinking about and then we'll be adding to this section so that I can go into the book uh, primed with what it is that I want to look out for that might be potentially valuable to me. So for instance, in the case of the book uh, Grit, I marked it as a book to read because I think it lends itself to helping update your mindset on what it takes to be successful. So I think that investing a little bit more time into reading about different stories and concepts will just help solidify it over time, as well as you know keeping in mind what is it that I'm hoping to get out of this book. So for me, it's thinking about whether or not grit actually contributes to success, having that passion and perseverance, and is this a trait that is innate or can it actually be developed in yourself and in other people? You know, I'm a father, so, Am I able to help my daughter develop uh, the trait of grit that might help her be successful uh, later in life? And the book summary indicates that uh, the author Duckworth, her primary focus was on how to instill this trait in children. So that was of interest to me, which is partly why I wanted to read the book a little bit more. So I constantly struggle with approaching book reading as this sacred activity where I feel like I need to finish each book in its entirety. And partly because I don't know if something's going to be valuable to me or not. So I feel like I need to read it all just in case there's something there. And this is where short form is quickly becoming a great reading companion because it helps me to find and target the material that's going to be the most impactful to me right now. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time. For adding those short form summaries to my Rome research glass. Gla <laughs> <sighs>